Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be talking about dropping your 2014 Chevy Silverado 4x4. That's right, your 4x4 being able to lower it without any issues. On this particular truck, being that it's on factory wheels and tires, there is no notch required. You also are able to clear with the factory tires, so minimal rubbing, rides really smooth, and you can still use the 4x4. We're going to be talking about that a little bit later. Now let's go ahead and start showing you how we did the drop. For the back, we're doing hangers and then also going to be using a flip kit to give us the six inch drop that we're looking for. Here are the bump stops, street performance shocks. You can see there the belt tech, street performance shocks, and here's our flip kit. The reason we use the hangers is because it's a lifting hanger. The flip kit here will provide you with seven inches worth of drop. And by installing the hangers, you're able to lift it that one inch, then put it back at a six inch drop. It makes for a really smooth, comfortable ride. As you see the leaf spring there, front bolt, just showing you how everything's put back to factory. Now for the back, I did mention you don't need a C-notch, and this is the main reason why. Using a good bump stop, a good bump stop will prevent it from hitting your differential, so you won't have that metal to metal contact, and it'll also give for a smooth point when it does happen to travel up. In other words, when it happens to hit it, it's gonna hit something smooth instead of metal to metal contact. That's why you don't need an underbed notch. Now, we were talking about the hangers earlier, and here's a little bit more detail of that hanger. It is adjustable. You're able to do a six inch drop and a five inch drop with that hanger. Again, the flip kit drops at seven inches, and then the hanger is, allows you to raise it either to a six inch or a five inch. Street performance shock is our go-to for these big trucks. You know, the four door trucks are pretty heavy. It still allows you to put some weight. And now you can see more of what I was talking about, the bump stop. The clearance between the axle and the bump stop is several inches so that allows travel in other words movement of up and down over speed bumps railroad tracks what have you without having to bottom out or hitting metal to metal moving on to the front of the suspension to achieve the four inch drop we use struts we use the belt tech struts which you can see here and we use the two inch drop spindle from max track which you can see there that allows your axle this guy here to be perfectly straight and still be able to use the 4x4. So achieving the 4 inch drop is not a problem, but you have to use the right parts so you don't have any issues. Now this truck is equipped with 17 inch factory rims. So the lower stud, as you see there on the lower ball joint, had to be trimmed down. So there is no rubbing, there is no scraping, no, no issues whatsoever. So the wheel is able to freely spin going down the road without causing any damage. This does have the cast arm. This is what the cast arm looks like. It just looks like a piece of cast steel. It's not hollow, it's actually solid, both upper and lower. And that's the only way you can drop the 4x4 with this particular kit. For the newer models, you have to use something different and, and we'll make another video about that. But as far as for the cast arms, 4x4 and keeping your axles right, this is a kit for you, spindles and struts, which is available on our website. What about the alignment? Glad you asked. Check out these numbers after the alignment procedure was done. 0.0, .0 for the camber on the driver's side and 0.1 for the passenger side. Caster was within specs and so was tow. These were some great numbers for a drop truck. Not only is it drop, but it also has 4x4 and the 4x4 is fully functional. Those are some great specs or some weight specifications for a drop truck. They're just as factory numbers. Wheels and tires are straight. So that means that you're not going to have early wear and tear from your ball joints or your axles and your tires are gonna be wearing out evenly. These numbers are perfect for not only a factory truck, factory stance, but also a drop truck. These are some great numbers, you guys. Now, I did mention some benefits of being able to have the drop and done drop correctly. Well, it's gonna be using the four x four. You know, you have a four x four and you wanna lower it. For example, this customer drove all the way down from Pennsylvania down to us that are outside of Houston, Texas to do the drop, but he still wanted to use the four x four since he's gonna need it for snow and whatnot. So he wants to be able to have that capability using the right parts, using the right kit, we were able to provide that for him. The truck rides great, it's gonna last a long time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video of dropping your 4x4 Chevy Silverado 1500. This is another project that we were able to be a part of. This is the other way around. This is a two wheel drive, doing a lift kit on a two wheel drive. The benefits of doing that, the customer opted for a big lift to clear the 24x14s on 37s and then switched it all around. This is what he came up with, doing a 4.6 drop on 24 inch wheels. Yes, believe it or not, this is the exact same truck. We were able to do a lift before, customer came back, switched it around to doing a drop, 
one of the benefits of being able to have a two-wheel drive. So please give us a like and subscribe on our channel. That really helps us out. Give us a like and follow on Instagram as that helps support everything that we do. You can also be up to date with our latest projects. We appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please give us a call at area code 832-770-4366. Once again, that's 832-770-4366. That is the best way to get a hold of us. If you need any parts in reference to lifts or drops, make sure you give our website a, a visit at www.reckless.com. Once again, thank you for watching. God bless.